comments and if necessary I'll move that uh, portion of the agenda to the beginning of the meeting if that's helpful uh, to you and the media to get that resolved as quickly as possible. Uh, we certainly know that a position like this, uh, there are plenty of people that will apply for this position. The three candidates that opposed Mr. Corona in 2006 have already expressed a strong desire to, to be the next sheriff, as has his opponent from 1998. Uh, so we think we'll get plenty of individuals uh, requesting to uh, apply for the position. So uh, I, I guess I would say publicly, if you're interested and you are qualified, please send your resume to the Board of Supervisors, at least to my attention uh, at this time. Uh, we are uh, pleased that we have a good local crop of candidates, uh, but we also know that LA City is certainly hired from outside the state. Uh, so we'll, we'll discuss those opportunities uh, tomorrow morning at our board meeting. Uh, we want to be very deliberative, we want to be very thorough, and we want to be very open as we uh, move forward. So we want this to be an efficient and effective process. Uh, the Board of Supervisors only gets one choice, one vote to uh, select one individual, and that person will serve until January of 2011. So it is a very uh, serious uh, opportunity uh, for the five of us. Uh, we will be transparent, and we're happy to accept applications, and uh, we will uh, deliberate on the proper process uh, in selecting the next sheriff, uh, at least get the ball rolling, asking human resources and asking county council uh, tomorrow morning at our board meeting. And that, that concludes my prepared remarks, and I'm happy to take any questions. How sensitive is this transition in terms of the, the size of this department and the size of this, this uh, the sheriff's department's jurisdiction? Uh, we are blessed with 3 million people here and 800 square miles. Uh, the sheriff's department has been operating satisfactorily. Uh, during the leave of absence by Sheriff Corona. So I think we have uh, very strong individuals with great talent and <coughs> abilities uh, at the top of the management structure. Uh, so I'm, I, I feel comfortable during the transition that the department will, will be running uh, in, in, in the le at the level of service that the citizens have grown accustomed to. Did the sheriff waste the county's time by not resigning earlier? Are we just going to yell out questions? Is that KFI that just did that? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> then I'll take your question. <laughs> um, will, will a possible litmus test from your perspective be the willingness to accept a uh, civilian oversight board? Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, real critical uh, that the, the next sheriff is, is uh, aware and appreciative of the uh, benefits of an uh, Office of Independent Review. Uh, it's certainly been a very successful uh, tool for the debt for the sheriff of uh, LA County and uh, I certainly will will hope that the next sheriff of Orange County would embrace this idea do I think it was a waste of time um, I, I think all, all of us have been going through you know the shock of, of what happens when you find out that someone is a little different than you thought he was and I'm sure Sheriff Corona was going through the same process of what do I do in this situation uh, I think he probably realized that this is going to be an expensive and demanding journey and when he realized that perhaps he could not have it paid for for free, which, which would be a gift of public uh, to, to an elected official, uh, he probably came to the conclusion it would be better to, to deal with this situation uh, by resigning. I understand that they hadn't come to a final decision yet. Had you gotten some kind of preliminary uh, decision that they could not, uh, he could not accept that? Um, we, uh, we, we kind of came to our own conclusions by looking at state law that this would be a gift to an elected official. Uh, I would think that the Attorney General will probably come out with something similar. Uh, I would even think that maybe the Attorney General's office has talked to uh, Sheriff Corona and his legal counsel and let, uh, let them know that maybe this isn't going to be the road to take. It would not work. Martin. I have a question, a follow-up question. Um, if the sheriff, if, if the proper protocol was not to have the sheriff appoint his successor, as he seems to have done with Jack Anderson, I'm wondering what other, how else you might fill that spot. And it seems to me the likely way is to have the Board of Supervisors appoint an interim uh, uh, sheriff. We'll, we'll be discussing that with county council. Uh, the issue is... Uh, the state's code says that when the sheriff resigns, then the undersheriff would then be the interim. Uh -huh. uh, it appears that the undersheriff has uh, accepted a demotion to assistant sheriff, 
in that Assistant Sheriff Dan Martini was relieved of his position. So now we have four Assistant Sheriffs. Uh, and so then how do you determine which of those four is then the interim? Uh, that's something that's still unresolved and uh, hopefully we can get clarified as quickly as possible. And, and Jack Anderson, who would appear to be the, the, the <coughs> acting sheriff or interim sheriff, um, do you know enough about him to comment on his ability to do the job effectively? Well, Mr. Anderson is certainly an, a, a, a well-qualified deputy sheriff and assistant sheriff, but Jack has also done a good job of being involved in the political structure. I believe he serves as a member of the Orange County Republican Central Committee. Uh, being sheriff, it is a, an elected position. It is a political position. So certainly Mr. Anderson has some of those um, qualifications and, and abilities to, to deal with that kind of process. Uh, Jack is also a, a graduate of the county's leadership academy and certainly well known uh, among among the county family as a, as a strong leader and a, and a man of good character. That sounds like an endorsement. I think that of as ability. chairman of the board, I want to be as accommodating and as uh, positive about all my employees, uh, and I am not making any endorsement uh, at all. We we have been in contact with Mark Nichols of the uh, Association of Orange County Deputy Sheriffs, and certainly want to be receptive to uh, any uh, input they may have. Uh, but we also want to be real careful uh, in that regard as well. So I think we'll take a balanced approach with with the union leadership. I don't think I'm going to the sheriff's department consult with the board for this uh, decision they made as far as succession goes. Succession goes. Um, for the last uh, few months, yeah. the sheriff has not really been communicating with us much at all. We get to learn things from uh, uh, the media. So I got uh, a pleasant call with uh, Ms. Peggy Lowe of the Orange County Register uh, last night informing me of what today would uh, consist of. I, I should have probably I'd gone to bed much earlier and woken up a lot earlier had I known that uh, things would be so dramatic. What was your reaction to that? Pardon me? What was your reaction to that? Well, I think personally, Mr. Corona has been real good about complaining about my not contacting him about certain agenda items and stuff. And so I'm kind of thinking, well, thanks for setting an example. Why, why complain uh, to me about that when you do it pretty consistently yourself? Mr. Morlock, help me out here. You're you're going along with the appointment of Anderson for the temporary. Give me a timeline. What happened? I'm sorry you came a little late, but let me let me explain again um, that because we have a state law that says that the interim will be the under sheriff, and because the under sheriff has accepted a demotion to assistant sheriff, we now have four assistant sheriffs, and we're not really clear at this time who would the uh, interim be? So we, we are still waiting for uh, county council to apply. Sorry, it was a long shot down from Burbank. No, my uh, apologies. When, I just when do you want to be sensitive to everybody's time. I understand that. When 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 was the supervisors appoint somebody permanently, or at least till 2011? We were not going to rush to a, a decision right away. We will start the process tomorrow at our board meeting, and we will set some parameters of how we'd like to proceed in the selection process. Does this give a leg up to, to Anderson versus, say, Bill Hunt, who's been fighting for this thing? For I think we have a wonderful group of potential candidates, and I can't opine on whether that gives him a leg up or not. I have just one other question. We were all talking about this in the story meeting this morning. What happens with Corona and his retirement? Can he take a lump sum if he retires? He's, he's judged guilty. Does he have to pay it back? Does he get to keep it? How does that work? I think working for the county is wonderful. If you're indicted, you still get your full pension. And uh, that's the case with Mr. Corona. There was legislation that passed a year or two ago which modified things, but we don't believe that bill will impact him at all. So it's just like Mr. Citron back in 94, even though he put the county in bankruptcy, he still got all of his pension. 